what was it that drove you to want to try stand up for the first time? Ooh, well, so it was a, some pretty dark years there, sloppy jalopy. I mean, I was uh, I was a mess. I was rudderless, alcoholic, depressed. You know, failed. Uh, I went to three different colleges, and I lived in a house with five guys, and we just you know got drunk every night and blew each other, and so. Uh, I, I knew I had to do something and my parents were like, what are you going to do? And you got to figure something out. You're getting older. This is not cute anymore. And I said, well, I've always liked comedy. Let me try stand up. And I bombed horribly for the first three years, but I liked it. And I just said, this is something. So it almost helped that I was so desperate and so much of a loser because otherwise stand up is an insane thing to jump into, but I had zero going on. So I said, fuck it. Let's give it a whirl. Uh, do you remember the first time? What was that like? Oh, barely. I, I was in Lafayette, Louisiana. I was in the back of a bar, and I immediately loved it. I, got, I was so drunk. I had about 20 minutes on Family Feud written down. That was my big, that was my big bit. And I also had a yeast infection at the time, so I, I was going to talk about that. So I downed a bunch of vodka. I was so scared. Stage fright out the ass. And I loved it immediately. I just loved the idea of like, oh my God, I'm excited about something. I'm scared about something. We went in the back room where like all the beer is kept, like the back cooler. And we had a comedy meeting, like, all right, you're going to go first. You're going second. But, and I was like, oh, I love all of this already. And I love the sitting with the comics and bullshitting with them. And, you know, I'm on third. Oh, the guy, the guy's second guy is up now. He's killing. Oh, you know, I just loved all of it. And then I went on stage and blacked out. I don't remember any of it. I just remember I went too long and uh, the guy was doing this in the back, like, get off, because I didn't know about the light yet. I was so green and I bombed horribly with my yeast infection material and uh, I got off and I was like, that was great. When's the next one? And I was hooked. Do you remember any of your first, first original jokes? Do you use any of them? Oh, Have yeah. they reapplied? I mean, I was so, joke writing is so hard that I remember just sitting down and pulling my hair out over, over writing a good joke. And I was obsessed with jokes as a kid. I had a stack of joke books in my room. You know, what does a ghost eat for dessert? Booberry pie. I mean, I knew them all. And if you look at my Twitter, that's all, it's all influenced heavily in there, those jokey jokes. But I remember the first time I heard somebody say, uh, what time is it? Time to buy a watch. <sighs> Blew my mind as a, as a little gay kid. And uh, so, my first joke that I really loved that really felt like a joke joke was I'm so bad in bed when me and my first girlfriend decided to lose our virginity to each other, I bled. <laughs> that one still gets a chuckle. It's they great. were all about being bad. It was very Woody Allen-y. Uh, and then I had another one. Um, shit. Uh, I can't remember. It was a lot of bedwetting stuff and uh, stuff about having a small dong and not that I have a small dong, but you know, it's funnier if you do. And uh, yeah, so just stuff like that. And a lot of just cheesy, cutesy, corny one-liner stuff. 